Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Old RPG Gaming and today I have a Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth how-to slash tutorial for you and this video is basically going to show you how to grind properly in this game get your Digimon from level 1 to level 99 in literally less than 10 minutes depending on where you are in the game um, obviously different grind spots have different Digimon but you know if you're in the late stage of the game using this technique you can do it in literally under five minutes and if you're earlier in the game you can still use this and have a 1 to 99 Digimon in less than 10 minutes I guarantee you now the key thing here is the three at the front of the party this guy Platinum Numemon um, you'll see he's holding three tactician USBs if you don't know how to get those go check out my other video on how to get them basically they give you more exp in a battle and their effects stack as well so we've got <clears throat> platinum Numemon here with three tactician usbs and on top of that we have three of them uh yeah all three of them are holding three tactician usbs uh, another thing the reason we use platinum Numemon is you'll see at the bottom his ability Platinum bonus again increases EXP earned in battle. So that is basically just like another tactician USB. So we got with three tactician to USBs and the ability, that's four. And we got three Digimon, so that's 12. So that is 12 boosts to the EXP, that's a lot. Um, okay, how to get Platinum Numemon? So the easiest guy that I like to start with is Pabamon. Pabamon you can digivolve into Motimon, uh, who can then digivolve into Hagurumon. You can then go for Gold Numemon and then of course Platinum Numemon. So that is the chain I use to get Platinum Numemon. Uh, just in case anybody didn't know which digivolution line he was on. Okay, so next thing you'll notice guys is I have um, Rage, the Diaboromon. Uh, in the party and the reason for that is he's what's known as a free type Digimon you're gonna need a free type Digimon of rookie or higher to be able to uh, instantly encounter Digimon which is gonna help speed things up a little bit okay then so the next thing is where do you actually train now this little part on the wall again depending where you are in the game uh, has access to different areas that you've been <coughs> different Digimon to grind with now I recommend Makato Yamashina's memory. Uh, that is good, although you have to get all the way to the bottom to get back. The Akahabara digital shift is okay. Beginning in Eden is another good one. And for earlier in the game, Digital Space 1 is also a good spot to grind at. Um, another place that I want to show you to grind uh, is not actually on here. It's a place on the map. Now, you don't access it till quite late in the game, but we're going to go over there now. And I'm going to use this as my example to show you how this method works. Um, it's this place here, this place, where everything's on fire, the place where you fight Exabon. Now, this is where I first started getting over 100 EXP, 100,000 EXP per fight. So you need to make sure Platinum Numemon uh, all at the front and all three are holding three tactician USBs. You also need to make sure you've got your um, a free type Digimon, like you can see here, I've gone for Diaboromon just because, and that means you can now force encounters, which is going to speed things up a lot. So, use function call 2 to force the encounter with the Digimon, and then we can start getting ourselves some EXP. Okay, so we got a Giga Dramon and a Mega Dramon. Not the best example for here because you can encounter Digimon in threes, but you'll notice I don't even need to do this fight. The Platinum Digimon is strong enough on their own. Uh, I just press the options button, let them auto fight, and you know, that's it. Turn off, um, turn the battle animations to short, and you'll find as well the fights then go a little bit quicker. So this is absolutely, you know, there's no chance of us losing this fight, we're just waiting and you don't even have to pay much attention, once you're Platinum Numemon to level 99, uh, you're good to go, you can just literally set and go. 
So you'll see that fight down 92,000. So not the best example, but it still is a good example of how much EXP this thing can generate. So let's go take a look at another example. Okay, so the next place I want to show you guys is right at the very last part of the game. Um, the tall metropolitan building that you got to go to the top of to get, you know, do all that shit. This is where you'll get the best experience, but this is only going to be for people um, at the end of the game because you don't unlock it till then. So we're not interested in fighting these. They're not going to give us maximum EXP. Uh, I don't know why I've just gone up this one, it's the wrong one. Let's go back down. Uh, the floor you want to go to is the 48th floor, guys. So the first elevator on the right will take you to the 40th. And then just go right again and to the 48th. This is the like outside area of this building. Now the Digimon you can fight here, if you encounter any of the Digimon in any like combination of three, it's pretty much 250,000 EXP. So let's try it. Oh, it, it, this one was only a two, but this is still over 100,000 100, EXP. I think this is like over 150 even. Uh, really easy. You don't have to worry about losing these fights. These Digimon aren't strong enough to beat level 99 Numemons. Just make sure the battle animations are set to short to speed the fight up. Uh, go into auto fight mode and then just wait and you'll get your reward. So for this fight, what do we get? 167,000 for a fight that took, what, a minute? It literally, guys, this is the ultimate way to uh, to grind the EXP with these Platinum Numa one and the Tactician USBs. Uh, we're going to go for one more, see if we can get ourselves a 3. Just to show you guys the huge sum that you can get. Um, this wasn't a 3, this is just a 2. Let's run away. Come on, give me a 3. Just, to, just so you guys can see how awesome this can actually be. There we go, we got a 3. So this fight should give us... Uh, close to, if not a little bit over, 250,000 EXP, which is ridiculous. You can take a level 1 Digimon here. Uh, I'm currently working on the Great Challenges and getting all the Royal Knights, and I'm taking Baby Digimon all the way up to Royal Knights, like literally in 20 minutes, going through that whole Digivolution line, and then taking the Royal Knight from 1 to 99 in like 5 minutes. It's crazy. So... I haven't I purposely haven't sped up these fights just so you can see that it doesn't actually take that long a lot of people that make tutorial videos when it gets to the actual fights for stuff like this for the grinding uh, they speed it up and make it it makes it look quicker than it actually is or they speed it up ridiculous amounts just to show you the exp at the end i've left it purposely just to show you that it doesn't actually take that long and for what you get back it is it's worth doing it. If you do it four times, that's a million XP. That, that's crazy. So, we've nearly finished this guy off. Fucking new one missed. Should finish him off this turn. There we go. And you should be able to see now, guys. 251,000 EXP. Uh, if you've got a Digimon that's not level capped until 99, they will grow that level. I mean, look at that. 58 to 79. It's absolutely ridiculous. So there you have it guys, that is how you do grinding in this game to the absolute most potential. 250,000 EXP is just fucking insane, so have fun grinding. Uh, if you're unsure or have any questions about anything in this video or any of my other videos, then just let me know in the comment section and I will try to help you guys. Um, remember, if you're not sure how to get the Tactician USB, go check that video out as well. All that's left to do then is say thank you for watching. Remember to hit like if this video has helped you, share it with your friends if they need help too, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys when you come back to the channel and watch whatever you choose next. So see you soon guys, cheers.